Blue Baby, so this is a long one. Yeah, I saw a bunch of the PlayStation stuff yesterday. I was made uncomfortable by it. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. You guys know Avery, right, Lil Sia? Enjoy emotes. Enjoy emotes for the next year. Compliments from our mutual friend and resident madman, JJ Madison. Glitch, what's going on, brother? Yes. <laughs> That was the most accurate description I've seen of the PlayStation Showcase from yesterday. And it came from one of the sweetest people I've ever met. Yeah, now we just gotta get a PlayStation 5 before they start making PlayStation 6s. You and me, Thermal, we're just gonna draw one. We're gonna draw one and then 3D print our own. We could do it. All we gotta do is make it look as, as genuinely realistic as possible. And then, as far as I understand technology, 3D printers will fill in the rest. If it looks close enough, 3D printers will put all of the rest of the parts in. Ramsey, what's going on? Tapping the morning, uh, then flesh and blood Grand Prix stream later. PC couch potato day. I do enjoy those days. I don't get them very often where I li literally can just kind of sit and do nothing all day long, but God, is it nice when I can. Hello, American man. What's up? I like the fact that I, I would love the idea. I think we could do worse as a country. I think we could do worse than if people marched me out to every other foreign country and went, this is pretty close to what we have. I mean, like there's peaks and valleys, both directions. We've got, no I mean, we've got like a uh, Nobel laureates. We got Nobel Prize winners and poet laureates and physicists, but we also have like, you know, trailer trash and Dr. Disrespect and, you know, Bill Cosby. But, you know, this is Ryan Caps and he is right down the middle. <laughs> this is Ryan Caps and he is just dead center. Just dead center. He is as average uh, an American man as there is. I could live with that. Did anyone ever actually find out what happened with the doc? Uh, nope, there is no form that you'll never know. Let's put it that way. I, I know that every person from inside the industry that I've spoken to ha has said in hushed tones that they've heard the same thing. In include, including me, like what dribbled down to me was the same thing as everyone else was like, you know, like this is what I heard. And I was like, that's what I heard. But everybody's terrified because Doc's got like actual Hollywood legal and actual Hollywood publicists. Um, the speculation and conjecture that I heard was very bad. I completely understand why, you know, it, it, if it were true, I can completely understand why people would assume that being a content creator was the least of his problems. Uh, but it just goes to show the, the, the power of a tremendous legal team and a tremendous publicist. The kind of people who make, you know, oh, you killed someone in a DUI? I'm not saying that's what he did, but it's like an example. Oh, you kill someone with a DUI? Don't worry, we can make that go away. How many Oscars do you have? Yeah, that can go away. Yeah, that whole thing mystifies me, says Justin. It, it's, yeah, it, it... Chat, I guess, like... I always say I'd like to make enough money so that I never have to work again. I'd like to make enough money so that laws no longer apply to me. That's that's the level beyond like I have to kind of I would love to have the financial security to not have to work again. But apparently if I'm being really greedy, I'd like to have the kind of financial security where I could where I could, you know, pay pay my way out of consequences. Obviously, I don't have any proof that what he was accused of is even what I've heard. I want to be, you know, transparent about that. Um, 
But at the same time, you know, you don't end a broadcast, get banned by Twitch and Discord simultaneously, end a broadcast talking about lizard people conspiracy theories to the sound of what sounds like heavy boots marching into your house against your will. Uh, disappear for like six months, do one interview that's basically scripted by your publicist and lawyers. And have it just be like, oh man, it was a bunch of unpaid parking tickets. It's just a big, un big misunderstanding. Why are you always playing this game? This is the one, uh, this is the one that people show up to watch the most. The, 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 the game that I'm playing, I was hoping that that'd be the secret room. The game that I'm playing is called Twitch. The video game that I play uh, is circumstantial. I've always said that if a thousand people showed up every day for Minesweeper, I would play Minesweeper every day. Yeah, <clears throat> legality is very fluid based on the popularity, um, popularity and bank account numbers. You're not wrong. Yeah, that's gonna say I'd like to be JJ Madison. I'd like to be, I'd like to be wealthy enough. <clears throat> that's not bad. I'd like to be wealthy enough that uh, if things really went sideways for me, I could just ditch extradition by going to uh, Champions Private Island, a non-extradition country. I feel extremely uneasy about everyone in this fear because I'm sure they've all heard the same stuff. It, it's weird, it, it, like the the only one, the only one that really sits uneasy with me because generally speaking, we I mean we talked about this yesterday. I don't like the position that I'm put into with COVID and social justice and civil rights, I don't like the position that I'm put into where I'm just a guy who wants to play video games and be funny and hang out with people that I, I have to talk about it every single day. Um, so like, while I can't say that I necessarily uh, condone it, I, I, I get the mindset of some streamers who are just like, well, unless the American court system has something to say, I'm not gonna acknowledge that anything weird happens. He's got a huge audience. I was playing with him before and I'll play with him after because, you know, I can't I can't condemn him for doing nothing. But the only one that sits weird with me is like I'm I'm seeing like Lupo buddy buddy with him on social media because they're all like YouTube people now. I don't know if that was written into the contract or if he and Ben are friends. Uh but obviously like in my mind Lupo is the moral go moral gold standard. And yeah, like ultimately if if uh, if what has leaked out to me has also leaked out to him, like in, unless they had a unless they had a, a pretty uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, candid heart to heart in which uh, some pretty uh, what's the word I'm looking for revelatory, like so, some pretty uh, uh, rock solid revelations were made. It, it's neat. Um, yeah, man, I, like, I don't know. I really wish now that I had left one of those blood banks open. Yeah, they're absurdly rich and people probably like being absurdly rich. I get people who do that but have zero respect for them. It, it is, it is, it, it, it's, you know, it's, well, it's kind of like yesterday. We had people come through and argue that they were somehow being like, uh, like strong or stalwart because they refused to get a vaccine. I'm like, I'm not going to praise you for doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> There were people coming through yesterday that were like the uh, the human equivalent of, of uh, or, or, or the modern day equivalent of people who 30 years ago railed against want, not wanting to wear seatbelts, thinking that it somehow made them like mavericks, you know? That it somehow made them like renegade, renegade patriots. And it's like, uh, I'm not gonna praise you for doing nothing, my dude. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not a hero for just ignoring a situation. Uh, and that's kind of how I feel about like the folks who who haven't missed a beat with Doc that are just like still gleefully playing with him, where it's just kind of like, 
don't you want to know a little bit more? And I'm like, not if it, not if it makes my day to day uncomfortable and impedes my ability to roll bank. And it's like, oh, okie dokie. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm also real pessimistic with this platform. I like and respect maybe five streamers and you're one of them and the other four I work with. I, it's, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be real conscious. You gotta be real conscious of your surroundings. Like I've, I've liked an awful lot of content creators on this platform, but even content creators that I've liked has not necessarily meant that there are a lot of content creators. Oh, God damn. Even though there have been a lot of content creators that I like, I wouldn't go so far as to say there's a lot of content creators that I trust. You, like, uh, Justin's talked about this before. You... You, um... You never really know who's putting on a character. Like, some of them is pretty obvious, right? Like, some of them are pretty obvious, like... Clearly, this game's not being played by an animatronic cat. I don't know what hit me, if I'm being real with you. Um, yeah, some characters are pretty obvious, but at the same time, like, you just don't know who is, like, what they portray on, on the camera and who, you know, secretly deep down is a, either a garbage person or duplicitous or... Um, manipulative or self-serving incredibly self-serving there are some people man that i've met that seem very very nice and then you really like get to like nuts and bolts with them and it's uh it reminds me of, of uh the, the the like theater and film world one of the big things that turned me off about the theater and film world when when i was trying to make it there i don't want to say when i was working there because i was i never was really anything more than like a failed actor um but yeah, like you would, you would get to an audition and I don't know about you guys, but I was like ready to feel like a kinship with my fellow brothers and, and sisters in the theater arts or whatever. And I'd be sitting down at like an audition and the person sitting next to me, I'd say like, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, how, how are you? Oh, good, my name's Ryan. Oh, nice to meet you. Have I seen you in anything? Have you done anything? Huh? What have you been in? Would I know any of it? Do you know people you can introduce me to? No, I'm just getting started. Oh, and then they just turn away from you and you're like, oh, no shit, it's, it's like that. Okie dokie. And it's getting a lot, like it's been a lot like that, but it's getting more standard that it's like that in this arena. Oh, buddy on that wall tongue punched me. He actually reached me from there. That makes sense. That's the last thing I'm worried about being hit with. Salty Sparks, good morning. Mighty fine act if you got there, Taffy, you gonna use it? I toyed with the idea of buying the Oh I toyed with the idea of buying the razor just to be rid of, just to be rid of plan C. Uh my buddy John, who was just here, said your Twitch shit sounds like all the bullshit in the music world, and he's absolutely right. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, man. Like sincerity. It's funny to me that like you can find people who get paid for being sincere. I think Justin gets paid for being sincere. I get paid for being sincere. I think Northern Lion resonates with people because he, all, although his production is polished, I think almost nobody would argue that NL day in and day out is a very like sincere version of himself. Uh, you know, Day Nine gets paid for being sincere. Lethal Frag gets paid for being authentic and, and and a sincere version of himself. But there's a lot of people who get paid for being fake as shit on this platform. And I think it's more people getting paid to do and say what their viewers want to see and hear, even if it's not who they are. And, and it becomes very easy to go, all right, well, I'm gonna manipulate and move the pieces into place so that it better serves me. And that includes the people around me. So yeah, I've, I've, I'm very leery when I meet new people on this platform. Even if they seem really nice. Especially if they seem really nice. Because honestly, those are the ones who will sneak up on you. <clears throat> I 
I made the mistake of opening Twitter this morning, saw someone who's going around harassing female streamers and YouTubers with higher pitched voices for pe uh, for pedo baiting. Don't go on Twitter. That's that's the, you, there. There was your first mistake, going on Twitter and expecting anything other than sadness. Um, I kind of assume that's what the film and acting industry is like. Yeah, and it's just it's becoming this is just becoming another form of uh, the entertainment industry. Oh my god, I'll just fine. I won't use I I, I won't use Epiphoria. I'll just lean into it and we'll do it. Oh, get out of here. I'll take it so that if I accidentally hit the space bar, I, I will have not screwed myself and I'll save the soul heart on the way out. Solarius watching it happen to him in real time when people realize that the bandy's in, uh, what bandy's in, they suddenly want to be his best friend. It's the same shit with streamers and probably every, every other thing in life. I've tried really hard. Like, I've, I've met a lot of, of m more famous streamers and content creators than me, and I've tried really hard not to be a self-serving leech about it. I, it, it, it's hard because when you're around them, generally speaking, like they have what you want and they're doing the things you want to do and it's hard not to like want to want to like, ha, <laughs> that it's hard not to, it's hard not to call in Robinson, those people. It's hard not to energy vampire those people, but I, I, I genuinely would like to believe that anybody who's doing better than me that I've met in person uh, doesn't doesn't regret the time that they've had to spend speaking to me, you know? I, I'd like to believe that, at least. Met Day 9 at work once, and he is totally the same dude I... Yeah, no, I, I've, I've, I've... Yeah, I have it on good authority. Sean is exactly who he is outside stream. Day 9. A guy I worked with would literally break things down to be as well received as young people uh, as young people as possible while laughing about how much he disagreed with it or whatever. I did waste a key. I'm a terrible streamer. Yeah, Twitch is the game I play. Isaac is the video game on stream. That that's how I feel about it. I play fair and I play w mostly with my cards up on the table. You know, it was it was that way at Catalyst. We had a very very diverse group of people at Catalyst. Uh, but generally speaking, I feel like for the most part, um, you know, car cards were up on the table, even though it was a wildly varying. Uh, it was a wild wildly varying collection of content creators. But generally speaking, you know, being around me is not complicated. I, I, I make sure of it. I, I, I don't have time. I used to be the kind of person, I used to be the kind of person who manipulated things so that it painted me in a better light when I was in like high school or college, right? I, I used to be like, oh, that story doesn't paint me in a very good light. And I don't like feeling like the bad guy in that story. So I'm going to tweak the events of that story in order to make myself feel a little better. It used to be a thing that I would do. I got exhausted trying to keep track of how I had finessed tales about myself. It, 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 I realized it was way more work. It was way more work to, to basically white lie or, or tweak recounting of situations than it was to just be like, you know what? I was the asshole in this story. Let me tell you a story where I was the shithead. And then you just own it and lean into it. Uh, day, day nine being happy and laughing on stream makes you instantly happy. Per, happy perfect back, uh, background stream. I agree. I, I love watching Sean. Even when I have no idea what's going on in the world of magic, uh, I can sit and watch Sean play magic and just talk about cards. Uh... And, and just feel instantly mellow, for sure. There's a handful of people like that uh, on, on the platform where I'm just like, oh, listening to you makes me feel better. Uh, I've got a couple of, I, I've got at least one, if not a couple of episodes of Ted Lasso I need to catch up on. Maybe that's what I'll watch with Amber tonight. I watched the Cowboys game last night. Cowboys lost, but it was a very entertaining game. 
I'm not necessarily committing to watching the rest of the season because honestly, I've reached a point where I just feel like I have more important things going on in my life than sports. And I don't like the way that sports made me feel when my team's lost, which was pretty frequently. Uh, but at the same time, if, if that's the only Cowboys game I watched this season, it was at least a pretty entertaining one. Yeah, they looked good last night. They, they have not looked good in the past, but they, they went up against the reigning Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and only, only lost because Tom Brady is Tom Brady. And I, I can't say I feel too bad about losing to the greatest quarterback of all time who's still playing really, really well despite being three years older than me. How much persona do you think we're using? I feel like we're getting 65% uh, ca uh, Ryan Caps and 35% Taffy. I feel you lean on the acting training when dealing with chat and monologue. I'm curious if you feel the same. Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, the, the way that I've described it as opposed to being like, here's a character named Taffy and this is what you see and sometimes it's me, is that I I generally describe it as being, it's 100% me, it's just dialed up to 11 out of 10. I, I I have jokingly said to people like, oh, I'm not the same guy on screen as I am off. I'm much more quiet and reserved. And I've said that and meant it, but my friends around me like Nate and Heather, uh, I'll let, I mean, I'll let Justin weigh in on it. You know, no, no, uh, no hard feelings one way or the other. Like Justin, you know, throw in your two cents, but I always thought that I was a, a like a heightened or weirdly elevated version of me, and then I've talked to people about it, and they're like, "Nah, dude, you're you. You just speak up when when the camera's on." So e even I didn't have a very accurate gauge, El Pablo. Like ba based on what other people have said, even I didn't have an accurate gauge of what was going on inside this room. Uh, when I described it to you know, when I described it to other people, I would describe it to other people and tell them what I thought, and they'd be like, nah, "That's not exactly what's happening at all." And I'm like, "What do you What do you mean? That's not what's happening." I think I know my own headspace. And I'm like, "Yeah, that's not what we're seeing." <clears throat> Glitch says, "Can't confirm Taffy is Taffy just with more energy." Yeah, like honestly, that whole "lend me your energy" meme, I I feel like that's me. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where any of the secret rooms are. That whole lend me your energy meme with uh, Kirby. Is it Kirby? I feel like that's me. That people show up here for their work day. And my job becomes, you know, I, I can't, uh, I can't slouch ass, you know? I can't slouch and help you guys get through the work day. So even if I feel like I'm at a 6 out of 10, I gotta crank it to 11 out of 10. And then hold it there for the entire day. And frankly, I, like, I like that. I think that it's cool that I'm able, that's the service that I'm able to provide is that I'm just able to help people when they need a little pick-me-up. The way, the way that Day9 helps me, the way that uh, Justin helps me. Um, like, sincerely, Justin is another one of those guys that while I'm listening to him, I'm just like, I just feel better. He is an eminently likable person, even if he doesn't think so. He, he, is, a, he is a person who it's easy to feel good around. Uh, yeah, Day 9s that way. Lethal Frags that way, Co Carnage is that way, they're just, uh, Lars Fest is that way, they just bring a general positivity. Bree is that way, it's hard to be in a bad mood and listen to Bree laugh, you know? Um, at this point I feel like I'm the same on stream and off stream, just the stories get better or worse depending on how you look at it. I think that's true for most streamers. I, 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 mm. I guess, maybe. My problem, Rusty Brazen Fire, is that like, genuinely I've met people that like, they, they you know, I've said hello to them and they're like, hey, how's it going? I'm Taffy, nice to meet you. And they're like, oh, hey, I'm so-and-so, pleasure to meet you too. And I'm like, oh, I've caught your streams. I've caught your streams, it's really, yeah, it's a real pleasure to meet you. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. And, and it doesn't take too terribly long before you realize it's like, oh shit. You're not at all the way that you are on stream. Okay. There, there are definitely, yeah, I don't know. I also haven't met most streamers. What, what, there's like 9 million unique streamers every month or some sh crazy ass number? 4 million? 9 millions. Millions of streamers every month unique. I haven't met most of them, but... 
Not to go too deep, deep I guess uh, I just feel like you would need an emotional buffer so when you deal with people, it doesn't damage your ego. I mean, ego in the purely psychological sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I Like, I genuinely... Uh, I... I gleefully defer that to people who have who have met me from here like there are people in chat who have met me and and i sincerely thought i sincerely thought that i had a pretty good grasp on how i presented myself public facing versus how i presented myself in a private setting uh and, and then as much as i thought i had like an emotional buffer put in place so that you know if people met me in person and they felt underwhelmed, I could be like, oh yeah, they just met the real me, not the me that's in front of the cameras. Um, like I, I told myself I'd set that up so that like, oh yeah, well if they didn't like the real me, it's just because I'm quiet and reserved. And then I told that story to people like Nate and Nate was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? You are exactly the same, just louder. And I was like, oh. Well, I feel like ultimately I, I reserve part of myself so that, you know, you know, it's only a piece that my friends and family get. And they're like, no, not really. <laughs> so I like I genuinely thought I had a grasp on it. And I genuinely thought you and I were kind of on the same this page is at one point in of time. The El Pablo. Of the and I was I was told by people who have a much more uh, a, a much more uh, indifferent uh, third party observational stance on it. They were just like, nah. Nah, you're the same, you're just louder. Which really kind of surprised the shit out of me. Going out to a pub with you and Squint Fox was kind of like being here, but with the relaxation of fee uh, bo uh, beer and food, so everything was a little slower and calmer. Justin says, I feel like I put off a toxic aura sometimes. I think my brain's kind of broken or forever changed from the years of streaming, if I'm being honest. I, the, the, the funny thing is that generally speaking, E even when your headspace is in a bad spot, Justin, I think you beat yourself up because, like, you have, like, a mean thought, and then you think it, and then you don't even say it, and you process it, and then you, you like, without having said it or put it out into the world, you're just like, ah, chat knows I had that, that mean thought, and I didn't say it, and I didn't put it out into the world, but they know that I thought it, and now they think I'm a bad person, and tomorrow they're all gonna leave me. <laughs> and the the irony is that like because you didn't say a mean thought like nobody even knows it crossed your head and this entire drama has played out inside your fucking brain and you're just like well today's gonna be my last streaming day because chat sensed that I had this bad thought I guess we're all done and it's like dude nobody even knows that happened you had that bad thought and then you didn't you didn't say it out loud <clears throat> When you told the story about throwing out your back, cleaning your crack, I'm pretty sure that was the real you. Early on, I learned a lot of people just want to be your friend for the career booster because you're a cool streamer on a pedestal who has friends or uh, or is friends with famous people. It applies to viewers and also other streamers. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I was gonna say you you keep some pretty oh god, you keep some pretty mighty company too. Like between like NL and Kate and, and, and uh, uh, Apollo and you know shit half the people we were playing with last night. Um, yeah, I mean like I have m met a lot of like higher up people, but I, I don't think any of the higher up people would consider me like a friend. So I don't really ever have to worry about that. I do have to worry about the fact that some people come in here. Uh, and go, ooh, shit, Taffy's doing really well. Look at, ooh, somebody gifted him 100 subs. Oh, somebody gave him 100 bucks this week. And they go, oh, man, looks like things are going pretty well. You know, I myself am streamer. I myself am stream. But generally speaking, I'm not like, uh... I'm not important enough that people come in and try to leverage my status in the community. Holy guacamole cow, what's going on? I got hurt pretty pretty bad a few times before I realized, oh wait, this isn't a place for me to make friends. Honestly, I, I, I genuinely have to think about it as this is my workplace. I've made some friends here, but I, like mostly I just consider other streamers like work associates. This ain't Ironfoot, what's going on, homie? Happy belated birthday. Happy actual birthday to the pergola.
I put streamers like Taffy and Justin on par with your local news guy as far as fame goes, which means potentially millions of people think you're famous, uh, which is way more than your average Joe. I, I, I genuinely think saying you know, Taffy, Taffy and Justin are as famous as like your local news anchors or your local weather guy feels very accurate. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. God dang it. I am getting roughed up, man. I need an item, like, soon. I couldn't play out the blood banks on uh, a couple floors ago because I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't play out the blood banks on a couple floors ago because I couldn't see how much health I had. I'm barely really paying attention to that. getting frustrated that I'm at 2.61 damage on depths one. Rini gives a tier one sub to Pergola. Thanks to St. Ironfoot. I appreciate that, man. I'm happy to see you. Long time viewer. Long time viewer to St. Ironfoot, man. Dude, uh, been here since way back in the way back. One of the first viewers. Caitlin from the Bearden. Or Bearden. Caitlin, welcome. Happy to see you here. Pleasure to have you. But my parasocial relationship. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. One second. Chat. Health. Mui health. Our weatherman's quite famous here in Finland. I, this is kind of exactly it, is that, like, um, I, I will say this. It, it is... <clears throat> there are times that I feel like I don't give myself enough credit because I'll go to, like, TwitchCon or something like that and, and aggressively, like, uh, I'll lobby to Nate. Nate will be like, all right, big famous streamer guy, go have fun. I'm like, dude, come on. I'm not, I'm not a famous streamer. I'm just a guy who makes a living streaming. And then we'll go to TwitchCon, and, and, and genuinely, there have been a couple of times where it's been difficult for my friends to, like, get time alone with me. Uh, this last one was, was real, I don't want to say weird, like, weird in a good way like that. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess, it's, again, it's one of those things where I don't, I'm not the best, uh, I, I'm not the best judge I'm not the most impartial judge. Uh, I'm not the most impartial judge about uh, how and how and what I'm doing, how I'm being perceived. Stevie, thank you for the gifted tier one sub to disdain Iron Foot Man. Enjoy the emotes, and Stevie, thank you for the uh, generously gifted sub. I very much appreciate it, man. Just got repentance yesterday. I hope you enjoy it. It is. It has made Isaac hard harder. It has definitely made Isaac harder. There we go. I don't know what these are. Oh no. Well, I guess we're in here now. And now we're in here. Weird. I didn't mean to turn this into a skin run, but your boy needs some help. Let's see if we can lock in these angel deals. Um. I'll forever feel guilty about TwitchCon 2019. I had a few friends come purely to hang out with me and I was around none of the time. I um, was kind of in the same boat, except the person that I wasn't hanging out with a lot was fucking Amber. I did not get to hang out very much with my wife. Glitch and Squint Fox spent more time around Amber than I did at TwitchCon 2019. I was... I, I generally go to cons with an idea in my head of what I'd like to accomplish, who I'd like to meet, uh, what vendors I'd like to speak to, 
which meet and greets I'd like to go to, if there's any panels I'd like to sit in on. I always have some sort of plan. I just, I hate not streaming and then feeling like I wasted time. If it's, you know, if, if, if my not being on stream is because I need to like relax, then I want to relax like a motherfucker. I want to relax like nobody's ever relaxed before. If, if my point of not being on stream is to be networking, I want to network like a son of a bitch. Um, and so I always have a plan when I go to cons. And I rarely feel like I'm as productive as I should be or could be. 2019 though, TwitchCon 2019 was the first time I ever went to a con, had plans, and was way more busy than I anticipated I would be. That is a nice sack room. That's probably where we're going to end up. Anyway. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Yeah, I got my I got my time gobbled up in a big way in San Diego. I say last year, two years ago. Man, I gotta figure out a way to force this game to give me a, a better setup here. Can't believe I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna do this again. I need I need these I need these items, damn it. And then I am gonna play out that sack room for sure. All right, Disdain Ironfoot sounds good, man. Appreciate you showing up and uh, spreading the love, my dude. Happy birthday weekend. Happy birthday weekend, man. There could be a confessional in the second secret room if we could just find it. Been walking around blowing everything up, just kind of hoping that uh, an advantage would reveal itself. Yeah, Snake Bitten, that's Sony Show. Oh, I've already been to the second secret room. Why am I so stupid? Oh, it's because I teleported out, so I, don't, I didn't remember finishing it. Whoa. Oh, have a heart. Woo. Huh. Why don't you have a heart? Little by little, your face is gonna fall apart. Hey, hey. Um, okay, so let's think this through. If we play the curse room, there's a chance we can get teleported to the deal with the angel. If we get teleported to the deal with the angel. No, we've already blown up the key piece. We might as well just go like this. I was trying to think if there's any way to maximize the number of items we could potentially touch on, but there's not. We just go. I don't suppose I can convince you to hold that for me. What do you mean that's not making contact? Are those bombs really not hitting him? This is the one room where Epiphoria does something for me. I do like flight. Oh, I'm an evil bastard. Do we need to remind you before stream to turn that down? It's, it would appear. It would appear. All right, so I gotta play out the rest of this floor, which includes playing out this sack room. Yeah, if I pick up my reflection, it's a guarantee that Ipecac will show up. <clears throat> One, two, three. I do feel blessed. Whoops, let's do. That real quick. 
do we had a legitimate power outage here last night i didn't get to see the end of the cowboys game like i watched i watched it on gamecast on my phone but apparently somebody in the neighborhood hit a power pole and it knocked out power to the entire neighborhood toying with turning those into hearts yeah, I caught like the highlights of it. Uh, the power, uh, the power at my place kicked off around the middle of the third quarter. The power at my place kicked out, uh, kicked out around the middle of the third quarter, and uh, didn't come back on until I was asleep, like sometime in the middle of the night. A whole bunch of computer settings were jacked up when I... Not a bunch. A, a couple of computer settings were jacked up. Hey, I'll have you know, chat, for those of you who doubted me. Um, yo, I gotta... Mm, shit. No, well... Mm, I think judgment comes with me. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with some of these cards... Huh. We'll see. Yeah, despite the fact that the Cowboys lost the game, they looked really good last night. Our defense has always not been great, but... I still don't know that I'm going to give football season all my love and affection. It would appear that the NFL did not tap me for Thursday Night Football. Will that same person get the same judgy treatment you did with the fence? I honestly, Sweets the Fox, when the power went out last night, I had, uh, I had the inclination to go to that guy's house, knock on the door at midnight 15, wake him and his family up, and then ask him if he was having home improvement work done. Like, uh, the power went out? And he's like, yeah. Are you having work done? What? Well, I just assumed that the power went out, one of my neighbors was to blame. Do I get to yell at you, you asshole? What? Have a good night. And then just leave. Alright, Entity, be good. I wonder if the shit kid is gonna taunt that family as well. <laughs> yeah, that's... I haven't... Th blessfully, I haven't seen that kid in a while. God, what did I call him? I don't, I, I, I don't want to say, I didn't call him a name. I didn't call him like, hey, dweeb or whatever. But I mean, like, uh, I haven't taken the time to learn any of their names. And I've also kind of gone out of my way to make sure that they know that I haven't taken the time to learn any of their names. <laughs> so, 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 like, I think the, the last time I saw him, I was just like, hey, you there, kind of bully who thinks he's funny but isn't. Yeah, you. <laughs> Get off my yard, or whatever it was I said. But, like, ultimately, whatever irritating thing they do that drives me up a wall is the thing that I point to and go, you there, person, uh, you know, kid, kid who laughs really long at a high pitch for an unnatural amount of time. Yeah, you. You there, guy who kicks the shit out of his brother. Don't do that. The kicking the shit out of your brother thing or the thing that you're doing on my deck right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hit the insecurities early because I want them to know that I'm not their mom and dad and I don't think they're special. Um, as much as I'd like to save that soul heart, I need red hearts like lickety split. So, oh, there we go. And there's still there's still a soul heart for me to leave here with. The bubble. What's going on? Yeah, plague rat would have been a good one. Oh, rat bastards. Let's do that. Just see what's what. Huh. That's saving me the walk. I mean, I couldn't. Have, I couldn't have possibly predicted. I could have possibly predicted that that many. Um, I could have possibly predicted that that many red hearts would show up as a part of the juggling act. You know. MP Mana Point, what's going on, homie? I feel like I haven't said your name in a million years. Just in case it sends me to, uh... 
I guess at this rate it won't send me to a deal with the angel. That would have already happened by now. That would have already happened by now. I don't necessarily like that I've gotten in on a skin run. It just means that when I get to the chest, half the chests there are going to be skin. Unless I just keep carrying this with me. I could just opt not to take... I could just... Oh, I'm a fool. No, I'm not a fool. Because I can only get one more... I can only get one more key piece. So I have... I made a foolish mistake, but it's not going to cost me. Because I can't totally... Yo, be a demon judgment. I've never asked you for anything judgment card. Judgment. <clears throat> Trying to figure out how to get maximum mileage out of this Perthra rune. I'm not using bombs because I just don't trust the game. I don't trust the game not to punish me for using bombs. the shit out of both of those. Well! No, I'm not. Contract from below is pretty good. It's pretty good when, when, you're, when your run is struggling and you feel like it needs help. Contract from below can make uh, a tangible difference. Draconic Blade, what's going on, brother? Brother! It's technically much better, but I I am genuinely going to carry skin with me as long as I can in the hopes I'm going to carry skin with me for as long as I can in the hopes that it doesn't show up anymore. I'll really only ditch it for something that I feel like has in-game potential. Chaos, what's going on, man? I'm awake, so that's a thing. Nice. I fell asleep with the power out, and it's actually really cool outside. Like, it's autumnal outside. So there's definitely a part of me that struggled with, you know, getting out of bed this morning. Couldn't help it, I had to unlock the hay emote. The hay, the hay emote is delightful. Surprise, surprise, thermal maiden emote that people want. Honestly, as I say, I just want to fast track myself to all the rooms of interest. Still 2.61 damage. This is the story. You're not wrong. The denizen of the day. If it's 100 degrees outside, then my air conditioning feels really good, and then it's a struggle to get out of bed. I don't like getting out of bed. That's not true. I like getting out of bed once I feel rested. I just can't control when I go to sleep. That's the real... That's the real buzzkill of it. I can't control when I go to sleep, so it makes it really hard for me to get out of... Like, to, to get out of bed and feel rested. Who did this? Quiet Storm gives a tier 1 sub to MP Mana Point. Quiet Storm, thank you so much. And MP Mana Point, it's a pleasure to have you back. Huh? That doesn't help. I can fly. I'll do this first. I really don't mind the idea of having extra curse rooms. What are you going to get from Bonchon? I'm not sure yet. 
I'm not sure yet. I haven't, I haven't looked at the mirror. Sorry, mirror. That's a Freudian but accurate slip if I've ever heard one. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Um, I haven't looked at the menu. I can almost guarantee it's gonna be like, you know, the chicken wings. So many cards. World, Emperor, Devil, Chariot. Huh. I feel like we take the Devil card. No. I need keys, so that worked out pretty well. Ooh, and the rules card, because you guys rules know card. rooms may yield more than you expect. Experimentation is key. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Chubb... That fucking guy hates smoke, man. That guy hates smoke. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Quiet Storm gets to tier one sub to chaos. I recommend besides getting chicken is to get bibimbap. I might, I love bibimbap. I used to, I, I know I've told the story before, but I've told all my stories before at this point. I used to serve it at a restaurant I worked at. Old Morimoto's. Masuhara Morimoto's up in Philadelphia. I just want to get rid of the. I just want to get rid of the janky heart. Yeah, I love bibimbap. Maybe I'll do that instead of the chicken. I had fried chicken last night. I made fried chicken. It burned the shit out of me and made a huge mess in the kitchen. I felt really bad, but Amber didn't blame me because the recipe that we followed. Um. God, the recipe that we followed at one point said, uh, what did it say? It said, um, heat the oil. Okay, so it made me, it made me make a, a, a batter, like a slurry to dip the chicken in that was like half flour, half cornstarch, uh, and a little bit of paprika and salt. And it was like, heat the oil until a drop of water sizzles in the pan. Well, I dropped a drop of water in the pan and it sizzled and popped and threw oil out of the pan for like a solid five minutes. And so by the time I even started cooking the kitchen, there was grease all over the stove. Um. And then after I threw the, the chicken in, it just splattered the whole time. It was so like, it was so messy. And I, I've, I've come across a handful of recipes that are written in this fucking glib soccer mom voice that I don't like. Because I, you know, I don't mind if you infuse your personality into your recipe blog or whatever, but like, cook it until it smells yummy is not helpful. I need a rough idea of how long I'm cooking this and cook it till it smells yummy does nothing to help me. You know? Yeah, that is uh, that is that is not the kind of instruction that instills you with confidence. And I kept looking like things that I was unclear about. I started looking in like the comment section and saying like, "Hey, what did she mean when she said add this? How much this?" And in one like in one of the comments, this wasn't for this recipe for but for a previous recipe, she talks about adding water, but she doesn't specify how much water. And then I went down to the comment section and this other person was like, hey, how much water do I add? And her response was like, this recipe doesn't call for water. And all of us are just like, what are you talking about? There's like actual cooking directions that say, you know, add water at this step. The one last night I went down and was confused about stuff and I went to go look and see if there was clarification and all the comments were just like, I read the entire story about your backpacking trip across Spain. I'm so jealous. One day I want to backpack across Europe. Oh, what an adventure. And I was just like, that doesn't help me make the cashew chicken. That doesn't, this, 
This helps me not at all with this one pot Spanish chicken. The food was good, but I genuine, genuinely was upset that it didn't taste better because I felt like I had battled it onto my plate. I don't, I don't want that, if I'm being honest. I, like, I, I, I felt like I had fought this entire meal tooth and toenail. I had battled with this meal and won, and when I ate it, I was like, yeah, it tastes like takeout cashew chicken. It's pretty good. Hi, baby. Hi. How is your hand doing? It stopped glowing. Aww. Yesterday, my hand was so covered in sp splattery oil that it, like, it looked like, it looked like I was getting ready for a porno. Like, it looked like I had slicked myself up with baby oil up to my forearm. And I have little blisters all over my hand from where it burnt the shit out of me. It was good, though. It was tasty. It just, it just didn't... I got plenty of leftovers. Yeah. I'm supposed to order Bonchon today. Chaos gave me lunch money, so... Okay. Um, hello, everyone! People say hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, just letting you know, I'm out to run a couple errands, but I'll be back by lunch. Okay. I thought you were already gone. No, I was in the shower. Oh. <laughs> I demand you shower again and give me a second chance to look at you. I does this is like this is like the vague instructions for the recipe last night. This does <laughs> nothing to help me set a very specific time frame. Yeah. You're mysterious and I dig that about you. <laughs> Love you bye. I'd like to learn more. <laughs> you wanna go on a date sometime? Anywhere you want. No <laughs> price limit. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Squint Fox. Like, I didn't get any sort of, like, tent. There's, like, no no temperature. No temperature settings. Like, I've got a thermometer for frying things. It was just... It's all this, like, sort of... I got a lot of recipes with, like, the, the hokey sort of, like, take a piece of spaghetti and throw it against the wall to see if you have paint. Or whatever that's supposed to prove. You want a southern fried chicken recipe? Yeah, sure. I'm always looking for a good fried chicken recipe. I'm doing like baked chicken tenders tonight for the boys just so they know I don't hate them. Yeah, cashew chicken instructions. Put in all the stuff that you would imagine would go into cashew chicken. Cook until it smells yummy. Cook until it smells yummy. A lot of those, man. I, 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 I bumped into a lot of those recipes this week. I, I was going to a different blog that is a generally pretty well-renowned... Okay. Yeah, I was at a I was at a blog that was generally pretty pretty well renowned. The food apparently tastes tastes good, but like, yeah, man, I, I've I've been struggling. I, I've not used it often, but I've had it bookmarked for a while. And the 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 food blog that I had been spending a lot of time on, I don't want to say I've cooked every recipe there because there's hundreds of recipes, but I felt like I'd burned through a lot of the ones I was really interested in, and I started looking for other stuff. So I'm using this new food blog, but yeah. Cook till it tastes. Uh, cook till it smells yummy. It's pretty indicative of some of the stuff I've run into. Where I'm just like, this is not specific enough. Glitch drops a hundred dollars and the the note date night. At some point, man, I haven't been on a date with Amber. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember the last time Amber and I went on a date together. This fight is 20 minutes long. It took forever. Glitch, thank you so much, dude. Oh my. Happy September. Darth Shield drops five gifted Ur Urk Gruber. Next lawn, Cadenus, Exploding Sheep Bleeds, and Anarchist Sicko recipients. 
of five gifted subs from Darth Shield. Dana, good morning. Darth Shield, thank you so much, man. As a former chef, I find it notoriously difficult to give recipes to people. My advice always comes down to it's done when it feels right because I cook so much by feel. Yeah, I suppose so, but like, the world. you know, these delightful Karens. These delightful Karens, uh, while doing their best, probably should just lean more on helping me out with actual mathematical measurements of time, of temperature, of volume and weight. Darth Shield and Glitch, thank you guys so much. Glitch, as always, man, your generosity is... Uh, feels undeserved some days, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I don't know what I do, man. I guess I go back and check these curse rooms. I, I, like, I, I haven't seen a damage upgrade this entire run. I'm still sitting at 261. That doesn't feel good. How much chicken for the cashew chicken? What do you mean? This recipe doesn't use chicken. There's a lot there's a lot of that for sure. It turned out well. It 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 was it was tasty. Oh, well, I wasn't going to show you this again, but I will show you this again cuz it's not initially what I was looking for. But we're working on a I guess I should bring this over for uh the YouTube audience if this run gets used. Open original but this is uh, what the banner for the YouTube channel is shaping up to be. Not finished yet, obviously. And we still got to work on dimensions and all that jazz. But um, Let me see if I can find the one that, like... Let's see. Copy link. This is the link... That had the cook until it smells yummy. And then this is... They're both from this blog called Pinch of Yum. So I guess I probably should have seen it coming. And then this is the one uh, that nearly killed me last night. Yeah, that is uh, that is going going to be the the YouTube channel banner. That's going to be the YouTube channel banner once we can figure out dimensions to get a little bit of color on the mascot. I mean, I'll I'll always take like folks who are offering up recipes right now. I'll always take recipes. I can't promise you I'm gonna make it anytime soon. I'm not gonna necessarily show up three days later and be like, oh, by the way. I tried your Nanos recipe for Kravorska cooler or whatever. But at the same time, like, I don't mind having these things. I just can't promise when I'm going to use them. So long as there's no expectations tied to when they get used, you know? Did you add the dash of optimism and the sprig of hope for your children's future along with your, along with your pinch of yum? I didn't, I didn't adjust the recipe for those. I feel like a dumb shit now. I should have known. That's on me, really. Ever link you to the Cajun recipe site my hubby recommends? You did not, but I'll take it. not to take my finger off the fire button because I want Epiphoria to help me out. 
one of the only things I've got going for me right now. Awesome, Ghost Cubby. Thank you. It's difficult for me to find things to cook because, like, if I if I make Cajun or Creole food, then Rory's gonna bitch. If I make Cajun or Creole food, Rory's gonna complain that I uh, made spicy food. My same sweet, simple child. Ooh, that comes with me. Justice. Bring it! What do you got? Yo, let's go. Trying to figure out how to do this. Man, I had hearts sitting around. What's the other card do? I don't remember what the other card was. Oh, the Rory tweet? Yeah. It's a condensed version of that conversation, but it is factually accurate. It was it was Rory's genuine takeaway with the con. He he is endlessly I don't want to say obsessed, but fascinated with the idea of settling down with someone he loves as much as he loves his mom. Oh no! Fuck me. But every time, you know, every time we've seen a gay couple in television or film, uh, or in like a documentary or something like that, or every time, you know, we talk about friends who are gay, uh, we've tried very hard to make sure that it's as nonchalant and matter of fact an experience as humanly possible. So n the nice, oh Jesus, please no. Uh, the nice thing really is that at this rate, the the confusion about not understanding what they're seeing has faded away and it's just become a very commonplace thing which is ultimately what we wanted the big takeaway to be is that it's not a big deal and so it was nice to see that that teaching is taking root <clears throat> it was nice to see that 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 very conscious uh that very conscious seed uh, that very conscious uh, lesson uh, has landed in his head you know that he heard it I just want to make sure that he heard it thank you snake bit and uh, snake bit appreciate it man yeah Rory Rory is the empath in the family he is he is the sweet romantic he is he is a a romantic lad oh you mean what a soul of Isaac do the other card the other rune the soul of Isaac uh <clears throat> does this I should I should have used the skin before I did that but I honestly don't know that I want to lose much more health These are not good. Can't believe I'm gonna take shade. What a weird room.
pot for sack room? Maybe. It's actually not a terrible idea. I was thinking about... What I was thinking about doing was instead of doing the sack room, I'm toying with the idea of... I'm toying with the idea of just going on. Trying to load up with as many red hearts as I can. And just leaving. So that I can get a damage upgrade on the next floor. That's kind of where that's kind of where my heart heart is leading me. I think. I do wish I'd used skin one more time. Two six one. I don't know why I was looking for the second secret room. I think it's just I've been on this floor for so long. I forgot that I had found the secret room. Oh my God, Edmund. Yes. <sighs> We're trying. It's gonna get a little scary for a second. But I have flight and spectral tears, so it's not the end of the world for the for the moment being. It's kinda funny. What I think I might do is I might try to nurse this. I might try to nurse this through to like the cathedral or the chest. Probably to the cathedral. Maybe to the cathedral? I don't know. I might, I'll nurse this through to the chest and then the moment I hit the chest, I'll probably just guppy paw the shit out of all of it. I think at this point I can just win the war of attrition. I just have too much health to die. Is what it boils down to. Why? Cardio coin. Why? The lovers. Neat. Oh, that's lethal frag. I can't take ownership of that. I didn't come up with that. That is, to my knowledge, that is attributable to the lethal frag, the old cardio coin. Boy, they're trying to give me sack rooms left, right, and sideways. This is the first time that I really feel like I've had to take items that were outside of my comfort zone in order to make the run work. This is not a build that when I start a run, I, I envision is what I want to have happen. I think I'd rather have hearts show up right now because at any given moment I can lose most of my red hearts. I have inadvertently done almost a full floor clear. That is not what I drew up when I sat down on this floor. <laughs> yeah. Your face when your DPS is so bad, you have to take shade because it helps. It does not feel good, man. Boy, it is desperate to give me... Little Dolly. Genuinely, I could find myself... Maybe. I could find myself, uh... I could find myself doing the Mango Santa fight just to be done with it. Interesting. Uh, you know, dude, I guess these. That's what I think I'll do. I'll emperor. I'll emperor at the beginning of the. I'll emperor at the beginning of the cathedral. 
Then we'll get to the chest. We'll get whatever items we get in the chest. Probably three of them are going to be skinned. And then after that, we'll, uh... We'll do the Mango Santa fight. I love how Mega Satan evolved into Mango Santa over time. He just doesn't feel as intimidating as a Mega Satan, you know? Not to not to drag him. Not to drag him, but he doesn't feel like a Mega Satan. He just feels like another boss. There we go. Deal with the devil now, now of all times, huh? I think we're gonna win. We did get some damage against all odds. A seasonal version of the banner that gives Mango Santa the Santa hat. Problem is, I'm not going to get a damage upgrade unless I have red hearts. Jesus. Those are pretty tightly packed uh, beams I had to dodge. And no, no real easy gaps in there. Rinse, wash, repeat. I guess I work backwards and I look for red hearts. Feels like it could have a red heart in it. Maybe not a lot. on the left hand side of the map thank you damn dude i didn't mean to touch that key i'll play chicken with you ragman there it is that's what we came for let's get out of here i don't know maybe definitely not Kevin, what's going on? Awaken Sound, welcome as well. Jackspot, I think I've said hello to you, but just in case. Good morning. And Mazarian. I, haven't, I feel like I haven't spoken to you in a million years. Greetings and salutations, friend. Read the bear. Nice to see you as well. Don't kick the baby. Soul of King. I don't know why I did it like that, but I sure did it like that. I think it's just because I don't think I'm going to have... I, I, like, I'm not going to really have to worry about much of anything other than hold down the button. I just wanted to get to a place where no matter what, when I got hit... When I got hit, I got Polaroid invincibility. I think I'll be okay. I genuinely think I kind of cocked it up a little bit by... I genuinely think I kind of cocked it up a little bit by, uh... Not just hitting... I, I wasted a lot of soul hearts, is what it boils down to. I wasted a lot of soul hearts there, and I shouldn't have. I don't think it's gonna matter. But 
I'll be upset with myself if it does. I also thought this fight would be going a lot faster. I've been watching the YouTube videos. They're good. Excellent. That's exactly what I like to hear. That is 100% why they exist. Trying to get those YouTube videos out there so that the people who uh, can't be here on the daily can catch the VODs and maybe we rope in a couple of new viewers while we're at it. Tappy. Remember, sometimes he just throws lust at you for no good reason. Yeah, there they are. The bosses who are here for no good reason. The little mini bosses who just show up to spice things up, I guess. I think I'm hitting him. Spider bite messed it up. Mr. Clean, thank you for the five gifted. Just hold down the button, baby. Not very min maxi, but it got there. Some days, bumbo, lucky bumbo. Some days, the bumbo is a bad bumbo. He get coin and bumbo lose coin. He gets it, he loses it. 